So this is like the third time my dog has ruined my shot. I'm having to shoot it again. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I'm new to videography. <sighs> it tests my patience a little. What's going on everybody? Serial Entrepreneur here and I just got back from Florida this weekend with, um, it was Father's Day and I got to go down and actually visit some of my family, see my dad. Um, we got to have a great time, go to the beach, do some drinking with some friends actually who came down with me. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, uh, it's going to be towards the end of the clip. It's not very long. Just some quick footage of, you know, my life, my family, where I'm from, all that kind of stuff. Um, outside of that, let's get to the meat of the content of this video. So first thing, if you haven't subscribed, you're going to want to subscribe because there's plenty of information like this on my channel. Uh, it goes into helping starting your SMMA or your digital marketing agency, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you guys definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, done that so far. Uh, but basically what this episode is going to be about is, and it's probably one of the questions I get a ton, it's going to be about payment processing and what payment processing to use for your digital marketing agency or for your SMMA. Uh, so basically, if you have never used a payment processing platform before, I would recommend looking into Square. It's what I've used for a couple of my businesses now. Very easy to use, very easy to integrate with any of the third party uh, platforms uh, like QuickBooks, like uh, your bank account, stuff like that. Um, but really, it's, it's just useful for if they need to pay with a credit card, you can accept payments through there and they process credit card payments for you. Uh, your bank actually usually won't process credit card payments, stuff like that. You want to go with a credit card processing company. Um, and Square is a very, very safe company. They've been out for, I'm pretty sure they're the oldest, uh, if not one of the oldest for sure, in payment processing. And they're just two I've used. I've never used Stripe. I've always liked Square as soon as I joined it. It's very easy to use, like I said, for new beginners. Um, there's not a lot of, you know, uh, I guess it's not very complex. It, it's very a very basic dashboard. You get to see all of the reports. Uh, you can you know segment things by revenues, by expenses. It, it's just a real or not by expenses, but by revenues. It, it's a really cool and by services. So it's a really cool uh, platform to use if you have never used a software like that before and you're looking into one. Uh, and that's the question. Like I said, I get a ton. So definitely look at Square. I'm going to leave it in the description below, uh, a link to it. So if you guys want to sign up. Uh, it's just a quick sign up link right down there that you can use. Um, and the next little part I want to talk to you guys about is QuickBooks, like I mentioned before. Uh, a lot of people have heard of QuickBooks, but they're not familiar or aware of the fact that QuickBooks has a service for small business owners or contractors like ourselves, um, or you know, just people who, are into, who work for themselves or self-employed. They have a service that's only $5 a month and it's very, very cheap, very, very easy to use. You can send invoices um, and it tracks all of your revenues, expenses. You can label things and figure out what you need to, you know, budget your money for. And it also integrates uh, or allows your accountant or accounting service to um, basically get an account to log right in and see everything. Like I said, all of these platforms, especially the big ones, integrate with each other. Um, Square is also, or Square integrates with QuickBooks as well, uh, so you can see any expenses coming out that way. But it's just all of these tools are really useful for helping you budget things for planning for your business, and I definitely recommend since they're so cheap. Like I said, Square, um, Square is actually a free service, I believe. Uh, no, actually, they charge you a monthly management, but I think it's like five dollars. Uh, and I think you actually get a bunch of that time free when you sign up with this link. So uh, I think you get like six months of no payments or something like that. It's like $5 a month again. And then QuickBooks is like $5 a month, uh, or it is $5 a month for the very basic package. And that's all I really use right now because I don't have a ton of money coming in from a ton of different uh, resources. I have about three to four streams of revenue, so it's easy still for me to track at the basic level. Um, and I'm not sending out like 2,000 invoices a month either. I'm sending out, you know, anywhere from five to 10. It just depends. So you guys just uh, look into those services. Again, I'm gonna provide both of the links for uh, QuickBooks and for Square below. 
And if you're looking for more in-depth information or material like this, uh, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out my digital marketing school. It's at digitalmarketingschool.teachable.com. Uh, you'll see it below also. And really, if you have, like I said, if you haven't checked this out, it's gonna go into way more information about digital marketing. Uh, you might have seen my digital audit video or something like that. You know, you're, get, you're gonna get templates for that. You'll get templates, tools, and services that I use to perform all of my other marketing strategies like SEO, PPC, uh, web development, things like that. We go into everything. So, and it, again, this is gonna be coming as time goes on. I'm gonna keep updating the course. I don't believe that, you know, digital marketing is just something that it, it's not something you can go re look into one time and you're just done. It is a continually growing industry. So as it grows, I want my uh, course to grow with it. And guess what? You get the course now. You won't have to pay any more when the price starts jacking up. It's still $200. So check that out. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Snapchat, do that as well at Serial ENT. You'll see it right here. And then uh, if you haven't seen me on uh, Facebook, definitely do that as well at Jordan Steen dash Serial Entrepreneur. But I had a great time this weekend again. Uh, you guys get excited for this clip. Uh, it was definitely just me and a few of my friends acting like goofballs. Uh, but get excited for that. And again, if you haven't checked out Digital Marketing School, do that, do that now. So I'm gonna get out of here. You guys check out the end of this clip. And if not, definitely check out those links again at the very bottom. But for now, Serial Entrepreneur out, guys. What's up, everybody? Serial Entrepreneur here, and we're on the way down to Florida. Me and my buddy Jacob. What's up? Just getting down. Dude, I cannot wait. Get down to that beach, do some fishing, some boating. We got Chipper in the back. He's hanging out with us. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to keep you updated on this trip, so that way y'all can have some fun with me. Later. Georgia advertisements or billboards are some of the best stuff ever, I swear to God. When it comes through this one part, I'll make sure to film it for you guys. But basically, it's a bunch of like truck stop signs or billboards for everybody, or for all these truckers to stop, and it's like massages. And it says truck parking. Who has truck parking at a massage parlor in this area of Georgia where you're just nowhere for 18 wheeler trucks. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. I'm like, yeah, that's not, that's sketchy. <laughs> but I'll show you guys when we get there. It'll be funny, I promise. Just in case y'all were wondering by what I meant by sticks, like we are in the sticks. South Georgia is nothing like Atlanta. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. It's just farmland and farmland and farmland. On both sides, too. <laughs> both sides of the interstate are just farmland. That's all it is. It's ridiculous. All right, here's one of them. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, Adult Central Superstore. <laughs> That's the third time we've seen that side. <laughs> All right, we got some more. Adult Central Superstore. Adult Central Superstore and Adult Central Superstore. <laughs> Truck parking, always available at the at the truck. <laughs> Jeez, it's ridiculous, guys. Still driving. Such a long ride. It's like seven hours. And I got the hiccups. It sucks. This camera is awesome though. <laughs> got the rental whip for this weekend. <laughs> About to go out and get the boys some breakfast. Then do a little work and then head to the beach. Should be a fun day, right? Alright guys, so we're at Dad's house. He's actually at work right now. It's Friday, so... But, I'm picking up my little brother. Should be coming out of that garage here in a second. It's a nice little house though, I love this little house man. It's got a lake behind it, we go fishing. There he is. 
He shut the garage before he can even make it out. Retard. <laughs> That's a little brusky. This is actually where I was born, where really all of my family was from this area. If you've never been to Cocoa Beach, two things you want to check out, Ron John Surf Shop, first thing, definitely. Second thing you want to check out is coconuts. That's for, that's for the drinking. It's a good time. Anyways, we're going to get out of here and go do some drinking. <laughs> Alright, just to give y'all a little glimpse of what coconuts look like. right back out there. This is where we come when we come to Cocoa Beach. It's a lot of fun. And there's really good drinks here. So. I swear to drunk I'm not God off. Hey, I'm not God. I ain't God. Alright, so we're out of the beach. So far we've stopped at Coconuts. The boys are drinking. They're really drinking. <laughs> but, we've got the beautiful beach behind us. don't know this is my little brother he's only 15 so all y'all ladies better calm down he doesn't he doesn't need any distractions right now he's gonna be a pro football player one day so uh, we're banking on that <laughs> just kidding I'm banking on me but my dad I think is actually kind of banking on Danny being a pro football player Yep, beautiful day down at Coco. Look at all them people. Damn. Everywhere. We should go that way when we come back. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. What's up, dude? It's so hot. <laughs> Sam running in with the. <laughs> Hot sand. Linebacker. It is pretty hot out here and that water feels pretty good, so I'm gonna go get in and enjoy myself a little bit. Talk to y'all guys soon.